I'm Emma Beecham and I would like to share with you my visit to the National Trust site at Dover's Hill. It's on the edge of the Cotswolds and just outside Chipping Camden. I'm meeting up with Martin Jones, the National Trust Ranger for this area, and in this video we will be looking at and talking about two of the trees which can be found here. Well, here, th this tree has um, it's actually died standing, which is really interesting. Uh, it actually had a fungi in it called Ganoderma, which kills the tree. It's a pathogenic fungi. And the tree died standing, the, the roots decayed, and the whole thing has fallen over. And that wood, where the tree has died naturally, rather than us cutting it down, is really important for bugs. It, it degrades in a totally different way to if we cut it down and left it to rot. And because it triggers various enzymes and God knows what within the tree. So this is all now being utilised by various bugs, the primary processors. So once the fungi has done its work, then deadwood invertebrates will come in and, and start burrowing through that. Then you'll get the woodpeckers coming in or the, whatever, trying to take the bugs. And that, it all begins the breakdown process, where ultimately this is totally recycled. It, it, so it, because it's had a natural death, yeah. it has more eco-value? Yes, in a nutshell. It is. It's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's called a compression joint. Um, the angle that, that it is, they're both fighting against one another as they grow. Some trees fuse together, this one isn't. So the actual joint is that small reaction wood, this lump here. So that, that is split all the way down to here. And it's under a lot, there's a lot of weight up there catching the wind, moving them independently. That is sort of certain things to keep an eye on. This is Emma Beecham on Dover's Hill, and I would like to give a big thank you to Martin Jones for sharing his expertise.